Hello everyone, hope everyone uh, is having a good day. Going to be starting an F1 career mode series today. We're going to be having a bit of fun in the F1 23 game. Haven't thought of a series name uh, just yet, but what I've got on my head is... Hang on, listen to this. This is going to be fantastic. Weapon at the wheel. That's what I'm thinking. It's not the final name. I don't know, but it might be because I can't think of anything else. So yeah, we're going to be trying to... Well, I guess... I guess the goal is to win an F1 championship. So hopefully at some point we do that. So yeah, anyway... Here I am, look at me, looking lovely. I've got a race suit on, I've got a hat on. Love that. Had to do it to him, look at that pose. The team I've picked, Carlin. We're driving for Carlin, brilliant F2 team. They've had some They've had some great drivers of Carlin. They've had Nobuharu Matsushita, Sergio Sete Camera, Enzo Fittipaldi, Jehan de Ruvla, even Clement Novlak raced from once in F3. Zane Maloney, Yuki Sonoda, Lando Norris drove for Carlin. And obviously the main man, Dan Tictum as well, race for Carlin as well, uh, my personal favourite. So much faster than them, mate. It's ridiculous. Like, uh, why did I get a penalty for that? I didn't cause it. Also, uh, we've also we've we've, uh, we've we've stolen Liam Lawson's car. We've got Liam Lawson's F2 car. From what I remember from that season. Liam's car used to blow up a lot, so uh, hopefully it doesn't do that to us. Obviously, because we've got Liam's car, we've got the Red Bull livery, which means we are going to be a Red Bull junior driver in this career mode. I thought that would be fun. So, um, you know, at any point, we could just get fired. Still salty about Dan Tictum getting fired by Red Bull in 2019. But, you know, we move, we move. But anyway, we're going to be taking on F2. We're going to see if we can win it. Yeah, we're just going to see what happens. I've been, uh, I've been watching Macau uh, this weekend. It's been really fun, to be fair. Luke Browning just got... Uh, uh, pole position in qualifying, which is insane. I was uh, a big fan of Luke Browning in F3 last season. He's very good. A good young British driver coming through. Also, Alex Dunn, the Irishman, is doing well. He got P5 yesterday, P6 this morning. He's doing very well. Oh, Macau is just such a fun track, and it's it's it's, it's very it's very cool that he's back. It's also sick to see some of the uh, the older drivers come back, um, like Dan Tictum, uh, Marcus Armstrong, Richard Vashaw. I mean, they're still young. They're still only 23, 24, but I remember watching them do Macau back in 2017-18. Anyway, enough of me chatting about random bollocks. Uh, here we are. We're at Spain. We're at Catalonia. Barcelona. We're, uh, we're going to be doing Park Fur, mate. Yep, cheers. We're going to be trying to set some lovely laps. I haven't actually played F123 since it got released. Um, I have not played F123 for a very long time, so I am terrible at this game. Currently playing on 88 difficulty. Uh, I don't know if that's the right difficulty. I've nailed that. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ, I'm all over the place. Here we go. Look at that for a first turn. Absolutely nailed the second one as well. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely nailed it. This is like Max Verstappen in the making here. Here we go around the corner. Lovely. I think I've got Logan Sargent as a teammate. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got Logan Sargent as a teammate. So we've got a pretty tough teammate to go up against. He was very good in F2. I mean, that's why he got to Formula 1. Here we go. Rounds the hairpin. Nice. We've done well there. I'm happy with that. We've had one little mess up this lap. But overall, I think it's been a pretty decent lap. Um, so, yeah. Make it around the last corner. Beautiful onto the curb. Nice. Let's see where that puts us. P1. Right ahead of Teo Porsche. Past Amari Cordial, Cano Williams and Ollie Caldwell. Uh, no offence to them drivers, but I think there's probably more drivers to set laps. <laughs> Gonna skip a little bit. Jay Under Ruvler is set a faster time. There's Jake Hughes has gone uh, quicker than us. Our teammate Logan's 14th. That's interesting. Okay, we're three minutes left. We're currently third. Jayhan and Jake have uh, gone past us. We're just ahead of Dennis and Fred. Where's our teammate? Logan's 19th. Bloody hell. Down there with Nasani and Caldwell uh, and Clem as well. Jack Dewan's P12. For sure. Uh, Yumu's... Okay, interesting. Right, let's set another lap. Jack, let me through, please. Cheers, Jack. Thank you, mate. There is definitely some time to gain. We can get a little bit of a slipstream here, a fuse as well. But yeah, we made a mistake on one of the curbs last uh, last lap, so hopefully we can not mess that one up and get a good lap. We are going to have to go for a little bit of a dive bomb here on Jake Hughes. We send it. Nice move. Safe, clean. That's what we like to see. Make it around the first two turns nicely. Up this really dodgy corner. But we've done well. We've defi we're definitely up on our time. Oh, wow, we actually went slower in this corner. I guess we are using used tyres. But yeah, I've got the other uh, delta off when I do qualifying just because uh, I don't like to know how quick I'm going. Because if I see that I'm going slower, uh, or like a lot, then it, it puts me off a little bit. Oh, I've broken way too hard into that corner. Bloody hell. Teo's ahead of us. 
Teo, by the way, P14. He's got to be on a good lap this time. If he, no way is Teo going to get P14, mate. Here we go. We've got a quicker sector two. That's that's nice to see. Coming into the last few corners here. Definitely track limits, but don't worry about that. Whips are on the last corner. Didn't even touch. That was a horrific final sector, I think. We're going to see where we get. P3, maybe. Third. We'll take third. We'll take third. We're behind Jake Hughes, I think. Uh, the uh, Our fellow British driver. And also, Jay Hunter Ruvler, who's P1. In the Prema. Where's, where's Clem at? Clem is 17th. That's realistic. Teo 14th. Sato and Duan the Virtuosis both 12th and 13th. Richards both the Brazilians 9th and 10th. It's, uh, it's an interesting grid that. Very interesting grid. Alright for today's episode we're going to be doing a sprint race and a feature race. Uh, at, uh, at uh, what's what circuit? The Catalonia. So yeah, three laps and five laps. We're going to be doing a. Fr oh, hang on, I've got it. <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally put the session length on very short. So I've only got a three lap and a five lap race. Um, I'll change that for next episode. But for this episode, I mean, this episode's just a taster. I'm just, I'm just trying out making an F1 video, and uh, if I like it, and it goes well. I'll uh, make it a series. Make it a series. Sorry. <clears throat> voice just cut out there if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it let me know in the comments if you're enjoying it and um i might make this a series in the future shut up mark buddy hell, i'm trying to drive here all right here we go we're starting p8 obviously with reverse grid going on we're starting p8 so we get a little bit of action horrendous reaction time for me there no bloody hell okay maybe it was a good oh bloody hell oh jesus christ i'm, I'm touching Uwasa. okay no damage that's okay but i have Made several amounts of contact there. Gonna just, we're just gonna creep into P5. Bloody hell, not creep. <laughs> We've just launched ourselves into P5 with a little bit of, a little bit of contact. I was a little bit shell shocked by the amount of distance we gained on the people behind us at the start. Uh, that I just sort of wasn't looking in front of me. And I just sort, of, you know, just sort of um, nearly T-boned Vesti. But here we go, straight off the start, getting four positions behind the Brazilian Drugovic, Marcus Armstrong, and I believe is that a, wait, who's that in P1? Is that? That's not Enzo Fittipaldi, is it? Who is that P1? It is. It's Enzo Fittipaldi, the now Rebel Junior driver. Oh, bloody hell. Nearly a little bit of a spin there on the curb. That would have not been nice. Going on the second lap now. Still fourth. I'd like to get onto the podium position, but Drugovic is, we all know, absolutely rapid. To be honest, Drugovic is actually pulling away from me a little bit. I've got to be careful of Frederick Vesti behind me. really concentrating here. <laughs> this is not normal for me in my videos. Normally I'm just rambling away about random stuff. But I've actually got a oh bloody hell this curb again. I need to stay off that yellow curb. It happens all the time. Oh yeah because we are a Red Bull junior driver you can't see it that well but I have got a Red Bull sponsored helmet on um, that I got at the start of the game. I think I think it's actually I think it's actually Sergio Perez's helmet that I got given at the start of the game. So uh, we're wearing that. Maybe at some point we could maybe take Sergio Perez's place at a Red Bull in this career mode. That'd be interesting. Marcus Armstrong. Oh, I've got the fastest lap. Beautiful stuff. I don't know. I got fastest lap when I lost about three tenths on Drukovic there, but you know it's okay. Okay, cheers Mark, <laughs> didn't actually know that. Oh bloody hell, I've, he's probably about to gain two temps on me there. We're on the last lap, I, I would like to get on the podium, but again, Drugovic is just rapid, so I'm trying my best to catch up to him, but remember in the 22 season, that Drugovic's MP was an absolute bullet, mate. It was so quick, as well as Drugovic. After that mistake at turn one, I've still got a purple sector, which is interesting. We're getting closer to Drugovic, you know. We're getting closer to Drugovic. Okay, he's just... Just sped off there. Uh, we'll see what we... Bloody hell. That works. I uh, sort of just forgot to brake there. <laughs> like an average Formula E driver, I've just forgot to forgot to brake into a corner there and just hit Drugovic. But it's okay. We've got no damage. The car's fine. We're coming into the last corner here. It's going to be a P4. You never know. Actually, yeah, no, it's going to be a P4. But we'll take that. Starting eighth, gaining four positions. You know, other people that are going to be starting next to us next race... They, 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 they didn't gain four positions like me. We're, we're ahead of the people who, uh... Hey, drive of the day, it's me. Look at that. But he Sharoos won a race. That's mad. <laughs> Fair play, Sharoos. Look at that, Enzo Fittipaldi. Mr. S hey, that's two people. Second and third there have been on the Screwing Mills podcast. 
natural driver impressed me today, Alex. But if I have to say one that impressed me most, it's Enzo Fittipaldi. And now what? Right, so we finished P4 with Carlin, our Carlin teammate. Logan Sargent did not have a great race down there battling with Clem and Calderon. Uh, but, you know, at least we did well. <laughs> Here we go, on to the feature race. Five laps at Catalonia. Hey, there's me! With Dennis Hargren Hughes, that's sick. I love that graphic, that is cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot at this point, Jan Darubler was a Rebel driver as well. So, we've got the Battle of the Rebel Juniors here with me and Jay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> sick. Have that, son. Sit down, Hughes. Well, going into turn one, it looks like we may be P1. Uh, yeah, we've just got a lot of distance on them there. A beautiful start. Oh, my God, we've gained so much ground on them. This is mental. We've actually got two Rebel Juniors behind us here with uh, Daruvla and Hauger. And uh, an ex Red Bull driver with Yuri Vips in fifth as well. And then there's also just Jake Hughes as well. He's just there having a bit of fun as well in the uh, VA Armour Sport. Onto the second lap now. As long as we don't make a mistake, I have a feeling we may have won this race. Fastest lap by an absolute mile. Got a purple sector one there. That's lovely to see. You know, let's have a little chat with Mark here. Championship standings. Nice, we're leading the championship for Carlin, that is lovely. While we're P1 and uh, nothing's really going on, uh, let's have a little, let's just, Las Vegas is this weekend. I might as well just do some predictions for Las Vegas. Um, yeah, I don't. I haven't really looked at practice to be honest. Well Cheers Mark. I haven't really looked at practice, I, I heard the Hasses are doing well. Heard the Hasses might be having a good weekend. Uh, but my predictions, you know what, I'm going, I'm going to go out there, you know. People are going to say, you know, Verstappen's just going to go in there and win. I'm going to say Leclerc. I think Charles Leclerc, he's had bad luck all season, but I'm going to say Charles Leclerc is going to take the W this weekend. I think Verstappen's going to get second. I think Lando Norris is going to be third. With Lewis fourth and Perez fifth. I'm going to say Perez fifth. I think that's going to be my top five prediction. It's just, just, I, I didn't really put much thought into that, to be honest. I just thought of five drivers, I think, will be top five, so... That's probably going to be horrendously wrong, um, but, you know, uh, ah well. Do I think the Las Vegas race is going to be good? I don't know. I mean, I'm quite excited for it. I mean, even, you know, I know all of social media are saying it's going to be shit and it's going to be a bit boring and that. I, I, I think it's quite cool to have a, a race in Las Vegas. You know, even though the race might, be that, might not be that cool. I sort of, I'm on the side of, you know, it's Las Vegas, mate. It's quite sick. You get to watch cars drive around Las Vegas, mate. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna look cool. The race might be boring, but I'm quite excited for how it's gonna, how it's gonna look. I think it's gonna look really sick. I've been driving past all the casinos and that. While we're waffling about casinos, I've uh, just built a sick uh, 1.6 second gap to Jake Hughes in second place, and I've just set probably the fastest lap of all time at Catalonia. Drive lineup predictions. Ooh, that's a good one. Drive lineup predictions for next season. I think. Well, next season they've already been done, but. 2025 transfer predictions could be interesting to have a little have a little go at. Drive line of predictions. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put man like Oli Behrman in there. Been watching Oli Behrman since F3. Right, Mark. Yep, cheers, Mark. Oli Behrman been watching him since F3. He's very very good. Uh, this season F2, we had a pretty good season. A uh, bit inconsistent. It, it was either a first place. Or a DNF for Oli Behrman, but he's a great driver. I mean, he's very young. Literally, he was he was 17 years old half of this season. Um, but uh, I think for 2025, he will get a race seat, at least Haas. I think at Haas, Alfa Romeo, one of the Ferrari-powered teams will get a drive. Teo Porsche, potentially. I don't know. Because obviously, Joe is... I mean, they've got Joe and Bottas. I mean, Joe, they're going to keep in there because they want him to drive at China. But I guess if, if Joe drives at China next year, they might just kick him out after that and maybe I don't know. Thing is with Teo Porsche is that he's with Sauber in it, Alfa Romeo. Like they've got Joe and Bottas. Joe they're not gonna kick out and also he's actually proven to be a very good driver of Joe. And Bottas, unless he leaves himself, I don't think Alfa Romeo are actually gonna kick him out. So it's gonna be very hard to I don't know, we'll Teo deserves a seat but just not sure. B one for Carlin in the F two race, feature race Bloody hell, okay. Absolute glaze in there. Driver of the day once again. Oh, look at that, mate. Me and Jayhan. There's, there's the Red Bull helmet I'm on about. Nice little Red Bull helmet there. 
There's me with the Carlin boys. Hey, there's me. There we are. Next to Jake Hughes and Jayhan. Two British boys on the podium. There's me. That's going to be the thumbnail shot. Or is this going to be the thumbnail shot? This could potentially be the thumbnail shot. <laughs> There's no music, so this is really, really awkward. So that's the end of that race. Logan Sargent, our teammate, once again, P18, struggling a little bit, fighting with Ralph Boschung and Amari Cordiel. We get P1, Marcus Armstrong, P4, Dennis, P5, Enzo and Fred, Yuri, P5, 6, 7 and 8. Felipe, 9th. Yumi was a driver I'm a big fan of, 10th. Theo Porsche, P15, behind uh, Callum Williams. Jack Dewan, by the way, P13. That's not good for Jack. Anyway, I'm going to end that there. Uh, next episode, we're going to be doing the Silverstone Grand Prix. I'm going to up the session length to short, um, just to get some more laps in there. More, you know, more gameplay. But yeah, if you enjoyed, uh, let me know. I might make this into like a, a long series um, where we try to become F1 champion and stuff. That'd be quite cool. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed, subscribe. Uh, we're nearly at 400 subs, which is which would be, if I can reach out, that'd be absolutely mental. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know what I can do better to make it better. You know, I'm always open to criticism. Let me know. You know, if, if, you, if you think the video is just absolute horseshit, let me know. I'd probably laugh, to be fair. Anyway, I'm going to end that there. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay safe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Dan, we have a drive through. We have a drive through. What for? Power control side. Brilliant. I would advise not talking to me for the remainder of the weekend. <laughs>